up you guys and welcome to the channel. Today we have a Star Wars 6 inch Black Series review from the Mandalorian wave of Quill. Quill is an of not. I'm so excited to add an alien to my collection and not just any alien but an Ugnaught. I don't have anything of an Ugnaught and as you saw from my past reviews I do get very excited over adding aliens to my collection. Um, I really like Quill. He is voiced by uh, by Nick Nolte and uh, you know he was just a he was like the Yoda s character to the Mandalorian for that first season. So let's take a look at his packaging. Six inch black series. This is the new look. You can see my reflection. Hello everyone. Quill looks really cool. He has his blaster. There you go. Mandalorian. Quill. Really nice image of him on the side. It's that build a mural. Here is the back. Let's give you guys a read up on the bio. If you guys want to see that, pause. Check this side out. Nothing. Back to the front. Let's open him up. Here is Quill out of the packaging. Let's take a look at his blaster. This blaster is really cool. Kind of reminds me of a like a like a sawed-off shotgun. It's really neat looking. It uh, it, it just looks really cool. Um, you can remove the strap. It is removable. Um, we'll take a closer look at the face. And it's really what I always liked about Quill is that the fact that they were able to literally make him, even though he's Nug Knight, it still looks like you know it has the features of Nick Nolte. Which I think is kind of cool. Uh, it's, just, it's just a really all cool touch. Oh no, I just think this is such an awesome looking figure. Really, really cool. I'm so happy to add another member of the Mandalorian to my uh, collection. It's like my favorite show right now. So yeah, all in all, I think it's a really, really great figure. We'll go over the articulation. So his head moves up. Move it down. You can rotate it. Scarf can actually move. His arm goes up. His. Let me see back in. Boom. He's got a single jointed elbow. He's got hinges on his wrist. He's got a little bit of an ab crunch. Goes back a tiny bit. His leg goes up. He's got a uh, thigh cut. He has single jointed knee goes down it goes up and he has ankle pivot so all in all he's got pretty good articulation uh before we talk more about this figure let's get some uh, other figures out the size comparison with uh with mr quill and uh so he can so you can see how he looks against a couple other characters from the mandalorian here is quill next to mando himself and ig11 he looks, like I said, he looks really awesome. I really love the figure. And to be able to add another uh, alien to the collection is always really cool. Um, and he's just gonna look really awesome in your collection. I, I feel like if you're a fan of the Mandalorian, this is a must to get. I think Quill played such an integral role in that first season that I don't know why you wouldn't want to put him in your collection. He's not just some uh, run of the mill character. I feel like he has a lot of significance. And I feel like his essence ran through the second season as well. He was just a really, really amazing character. Um, all in all, I really like the figure. I think it looks just like the character. That the face sculpt is is literally like a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. You know, when you got like, yeah, I feel like the only figure that has like some flaws of like of this uh, collection so far of all the Mando figures would probably actually be Moff Gideon. His face sculpt is a little, little off, but. His face sculpt is like dead on. And I think it's, I mean, maybe it's cause like, um, you know, from what I've seen with other reviews, like it seems like Hasbro really nails the alien characters and then some of the human characters. So I've seen some of the newer face sculpts of, uh, you know, some of the reissues and they, you know, they kind of crazy looking. But uh, all in all, I think for the most part, Hasbro, they do hit it out of the park. And I think they hit it out of the park with this figure. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys could, please like, uh, please uh, leave a comment, like it, and, Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great day and keep a close eye on my channel for more reviews.